Hey guys, it's Barbie Ferreira. Welcome to my Teen Vogue shoot. It's gonna be cool. <laughs> My name is Lulu. I'm from Connecticut. Hi, my name is Les. I'm Russian. I'm Terrain Futurum. I am from a planet outside of the Milky Way galaxy. My name is Mina. I'm from Queens, New York. This is so corny. I'm like, I'm Mina and you're watching Nut. <laughs> Looking at magazines and being someone who wanted to act as a kid, I was very much influenced by things I saw. So I think due to the lack of representation, I was insecure, definitely. I had a lot of difficulty growing up in a society where everything is very closed-minded, especially with beauty. Representation is something that is so important. Seeing someone that you can relate to in the media is everything as a child, and a lot of people are not granted that luxury. I don't know, I always like looked up to fat girls, and I, I never like worshipped a thin body as much as a lot of media did. I felt very excluded personally, just because nobody was talking about my body type. I saw Barbie pop up and I was like, oh my God. We have the same body type. I'm so happy that finally women my size are getting integrated into media like we deserve to, you know? This is a mega babe, actually. I like stalked her on Instagram. I didn't even know, I didn't even like know your name. I like found it. Fashion is trying to progress, but it's doing it in a way that it's so ungenuine. And I feel like when it is genuine, it's gonna be dope. One minute, they're all about respecting like all body types, and the next minute, it's just like, you don't make clothes for all body types. So like, you can't be not genuine and try to stand up for these things, because it's gonna show right away. When people talk about diversity, they kind of have one specific thing. It's like, oh, there are gonna be black models on the runway now, or like, Trans people are cool now, when it should just be like all people who are not mass murderers or something like that. All people should be accepted as valid and human. A couple years ago, I tried um, to become a plus size model. Really? Yes. And um, I was one of the first plus size models doing Fashion Week in New York. I felt like I couldn't keep my size and my body started to come back to this natural size. It was very, very good experience. I know how to be size zero and I know how to be size 12. And now I know how to be size six. Your body gets you going. Every day you wake up, that's what's there. You have you and your body, it's there to like, fight off sicknesses, it's there to move you to work, to go have fun, see your friends. It's like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna have this body for the rest of your life. You're gonna be miserable for the rest of your life. You're gonna let these people take your worth from you because of the way you look and because you don't look like a photoshopped picture on like a billboard. It's just meaningless. There's so much more to life than how you look.